Alrighty, what is going on guys? Rush Drew here and welcome back to another Let's Make a Mod series. Now, <laughs> remember what I said at the end of last episode that the other project, uh, in episode 4, uh, I'm going to be doing the next one right after. Well, here's episode 4 rendering right now, so yay! <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to learn how to craft our items. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is... Um, you're going to need to uh, actually go to your um, your main class, and of course, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do some imports. I'm I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, let's let's check on the form just to make sure. Um, no, actually, you don't need to. So uh, okay. Well, basically, I guess all we're gonna have to do is uh come here and we're gonna go down and we're going to do uh back uh slash slash crafting comment crafting and then uh we're gonna go down one more we're gonna do game registry oh yeah because all we needed to import was game registry dot add recipe and then it goes uh like this so uh, new, okay, sorry, new item stack, it's been a while since I've written my other mod, and then, uh, another parentheses, we're gonna do block ruby, and then we're gonna do a comma, and it's going to go, um, we're gonna go down again, I think, hold on. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh well. And then you're gonna uh, go right here, you're gonna do your crafting recipe. So the first row is the top row. So since we're just doing a full storage block, we're just gonna do X, 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 and that's gonna be, actually we'll make it R, that'll make sense, R, R, R. And then comma. And then R, 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 oh whoops. R, R, R. That's the middle row. Comma. And then this is the bottom row. And it's going to be R, R, R. Because <laughs> it's everything's the same. And then uh, we're going to do a comma. And we're going to go down. And we're going to do... Um, variable R. Whoops. Variable R. Comma. Ruby. And that's it. And then you put a thing on the end. And parenthesis. So there you go. That's it. That's how you do a crafting recipe. It's pretty simple. And then you just import item stack because I thought I didn't. I didn't know we didn't have that in already. But that's pretty much it. So if we just go ahead and save all, and then uh, go ahead and play our game, we'll go over a shapeless recipe, and then um, we'll go over a smelting recipe so we go ahead open up creative oh go ahead and open this up and grab ourselves a crafting bench right there sorry it's so laggy it's a frame thing with uh, Camtasia and we just go like this and there you go there's our ruby block. We just crafted it. It's pretty simple to do a normal recipe like that. Um, you can also import other things, which I'll show you in a second. So if we just quit out of this, and we add, uh, say, game, and say we actually, we'll just do this. So we'll do, instead of uh, R meaning ruby, let's make it be a block of diamonds. So we'd do block dot uh, block diamond. All right, and then we go ahead and save it, and then we run the client. One second here. Let everything load up. And then we'll go into single player, get in our world once again. 
open up our inventory. Let's turn off mobs. Okay, and we'll get ourselves some blocks of diamond. And then uh, we'll go ahead and throw in a thing. And as you can see, nine diamond blocks would make a ruby block. So if you wanted to make it an item, so I don't think the item, uh, the item of, uh, what's it called? Um, quartz has a nine block. So we'll just do uh, the quartz. So item dot nether quartz. If that's an item. No. Uh, item dot uh, quartz, 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 quartz. Um, okay, we'll just do one for an apple. We'll just make it an apple. So it'll just be item dot apple red, save, run, let it launch up. and go into our world once again and then give ourselves some apples and we'll just like that and as you can see it make a ruby block so that's basically how you use vanilla items to craft stuff in the game so we'll just turn this back into ruby and we'll go on to shapeless recipes. So we'll do game registry dot add shapeless shapeless recipe recipe and then new item stack and then uh, uh, we'll just do Ruby just for an example. So Ruby, and then actually, if you want it to make more than one, uh, then you will just do, um, uh, then you do, well, I'll show this here. So do Ruby, and then a comma, and then we'll have it make nine, and then we'll do comma, and then Ruby, and that, and we're done. Oh, whoops. There you go. So that's pretty much it. Add shapeless. Oh, whoops. Undo that. All right. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Didn't want to do that. Uh, add. Change to add shapeless recipe. There you go. Add shapeless recipe. Cool. So we'll have it make Ruby and then, oh whoops, block Ruby. So this pretty much defines, okay, so you want to make, so you make Rubies and you make nine of them when you put a block of Ruby in a crafting square. So that's basically what it is. So basically after this comma, you just place the uh, thing in there and then say you want it to make 18 when you do two blocks of Ruby. So you do block ruby and then once again you do block ruby all right but we only want to do one for one block of ruby so we'll do nine and then we'll save it we'll go into here oh whoops cancel that uh get rid of that and save it run it let it load up once again <laughs> so we spend more time loading than we do coding <laughs> oh well and then uh, go ahead and click on our thing once again our test world go into the crafting bunch put it in there and as you can see makes nine rubies as it wouldn't do that before so pretty cool now we're gonna do uh, a smelting recipe from my more recipes mod so we're gonna do come down here make a comment smelting 
and then we are going to actually plug my phone in because we are at 12 percent or 10 percent of battery life don't want it to die on me all right now we're going to do uh smelting so we no oh, whoops now all this stuff's gonna pop up when i plug it in itunes blah 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 all right so now we're gonna come down here and do this so game registry dot add smelting if I spelled that right then we're gonna do um, we haven't done this yet but uh, I guess we can do this so we'll do um, block oh, we'll just do block <laughs> block god darn it block ruby and then the output is going to be ruby and then um it's going to be oh wait is that the block you put in oh this is what you put in so block ruby is what you put in and then ruby is what you get out and then I think. Hold on. Okay. God damn it! Stop it! My video just finished rendering, as you can tell. Alright, so block Ruby, and then on here it's telling me to go new item. This is really confusing. New item stack. And then, like this. And then rubies nine, and then the XP is zero point one F, like that, I think. And then, oh no! So after that, like that, there we go. And then change add smelting to. Add smelting. Oh, whoops. All right. Um. So apparently that's not going to work. It's going to be item stack ruby. And all right. So basically, I guess it just wants us to do. So we'll just do this as an example. So it's going to be ruby. And then we're done. That's what the game wants us to do. Actually, like that. Change method to block item float. Alright, we're just going to do the constructor that it tells us to put. So we're just going to do game registry add smelting. So input is going to be block ruby. Output is going to be ruby. XP 0 0.1 floating. Done. Save. It's not working. So I'm going to go do some research on this really quickly because it doesn't seem to want to cooperate with us. So I'll be right back. All right, so resuming off of what I just figured out. So what we're going to have to do actually is we're going to use this setup that we have on the, th the forum here. But actually what I forgot to do is I forgot to add instead of just block ruby, you have to do block ruby dot block ID to actually make it to work. So that's basically all you have to do. And then uh, I'm pretty sure if you just do this, 9, it's going to give you 9 when you uh, go ahead and smelt it. And if not, then I'm just not going to do any more of this random uh, looking around and stuff. Uh, and I'll mention it in my next video on how to make multiple things when you smelt. But this should actually work. So if we take... Uh, a block of ruby will just make one. And then uh, we get a furnace right there. 
and we'll grab some coal, 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 charcoal, whatever, same thing, and we smelt it, and we wait for the 10 seconds or whatever that uh, we have, and we throw it in, and it gives us 9 rubies, so that was right, I am a smart guy. So pretty much that's how you smelt things and that's how you craft things, shapeless, non-shapeless, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and quit out of this and that's pretty much how you craft. Believe it or not, it's not that hard. At the, uh, I was having a little trouble there with the smelting because I hadn't done it in a while, but uh, I figured it out, so we're good now. So anyways guys, that's pretty much all I got for you for this episode of... Um, Let's make a forge mod. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Uh, subscribe to the Crisis Hub YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel as well. The next is going to be making our Ruby tool set. So that's going to be kind of scary because uh, there's a lot of different coding in that. And it's going to be like a half hour episode at the rate that I do things. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Coding forms will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.